You know what I do? Off you go. No. Go on. I'm not gonna sit here so you can humiliate me. Second eye. Second eye. Second opinion. It's very useful to me. Okay. Really. They're just shoes. Trainers. Good. Well, they're in good shape. The soles are pretty worn though. Otherwise, I'd say they're new. The owners obviously had these for a while. Yep. Very 80s. Got that retro style. Yeah, sparkling black. What else? Um, they're pretty big. There's a name inside. In felt tip. Grown ups don't do that. These belong to a kid. Excellent. What else? That's all I got. That's it? That's it. How'd I do? Really well, Reed. Really well. I mean, you almost missed everything of importance, but, you know. The owner loved these shoes. Scrubbed them clean, whitened them when they got discolored, and changed the laces, the laces on them three, no, four times. Even so, there are traces of flaky skin where his fingers have come into contact with them. So he suffered from eczema. Now, the trainers are well worn, but much more so on the inner side. So he had weak arches. First made 20 years old. 20 years? Not retro. They're original. Limited edition, two blue stripes, 1989. I'd say they're pretty new, but there's mud on them. Someone's kept them that way. Quite a bit of mud kicked on the soles. Analysis shows it's from Sussex with London mud overlaying. How do you know that? <laughs> Holland. Clear as a map reference to me. South of the river too. So, the child who owned these trainers came from Sussex to London 20 years ago and left them behind. What happened to them? Something bad. He loved these shoes, remember? Wouldn't let them get filthy. Wouldn't leave them behind unless he had no choice. So, kid with big feet. What? Carl Powers. Who? Carl Powers, Jane. Who is that? That's where I began. Okay. I need my computer.